Starting with your events, how many meetings would you, on average, would you have with a client? Depends on the client. If I know the client really well and we have a really, really strong relationship, I don't need as many meetings because we're on the same wavelength. So it's a new client? New client leading up to an event. If it's in a big event, um, I would probably start one meeting a month um, and then probably the last, the, the last two months I would have one meeting a week. Did everybody get something out of it? Do you need an apprentice? Right. Excellent. Yeah, I've got one. He's my 18 year old son. Oh, yeah. It doesn't I'm work. Well. I'm a good cook. <laughs> Did anybody have any questions? Everybody's good? Are you going to leave some of your cards or your, your email or something yeah. like that? I've got contact details for Tony. Uh, I'll drop you some brushes. That'd be lovely. Yeah. So if you've got any afterthoughts and you want to explore this further, or if you want to know any <coughs> more information, I'm sure Tony would be Absolutely. happy to provide yeah. that. So come see me and I'll get you in contact. Yes, Jane. Yeah. Um, so what's your advice to those who want to start the event management thing? So your, your advice is the tips. What advice can I give you? Yeah. No, uh, Don't jump in the wrong end, take it slowly. <laughs> no, 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 no. Jump in boots and all, but be prepared that it's not as glamorous as people make it out to be. There, there are many days, and I'll be seriously, it's a It's glamorous, what are you talking about? <laughs> That's what it's all about. <laughs> okay, so it's got to be a controlled jump then. Well, look, anyone who tells you that you can rock up for an event at four o'clock in the afternoon, walk in, plug your PowerPoint presentation in, and, and uh, it'll all happen, and you go home at 11 o'clock at night, they're dreaming. Yeah. Okay. Some not a some good job. some some events I've done 36 hours straight. Wow. Like you do not sleep for 36 hours. By the time you put the show in, you operate the show, you pack it up, you take it back to the warehouse, you put it away. There's a day and a half, two days gone of your life. You don't get it back. So you hope to hell that the, the show's really good because that's what you're going to remember. And, and Tony's um, presence and his efforts is. Just uh, it's just showing where he is today because of that commitment in his in his, in the business, that commitment to whatever he's presenting is his success today and his achievement. So he's showing you what is possible. It's as much as you put in are the results that you're going to get out of it. So, absolutely, yeah? it's absolutely true. So love what you're doing, find your passion, and you think you know I really want to give this a go. Nothing is wrong. Take that opportunity, give it a go. If it works, great. If not, then at least you've got some experience and you've realized. Any chance we could get a copy of your PowerPoint? Absolutely. I'd love, I'd love a copy of it. You can also follow um, Tony on Facebook. Okay. You'll find it, and I have seen on occasion yeah. that he will do some of those videos, yep. all those other, there you go. Um, fabulous things on his Facebook page, yeah, so like the slow mo that you saw yeah. before. Yeah. I believe that's on his Facebook. Yeah, there's quite a few of those yeah. on Facebook. Uh, we try and do. Um, it, it's it's more about educating. It's fun for us. Like we love doing those slow mos, but it's um, or time lapse photography. But it's more for the clients to understand what actually it takes to put a show on. We've got one on the website or on the on the Facebook site, which is actually the Forex Brewery. 
we do every year the state of origin and the rugby uh, gala dinners in there for up to a thousand people. We're talking a big barn that's got nothing. It's a barn. Walls and a whole heap of kegs in there. To do it, I have to actually shut down the Forex brewery. So we shut we have a contract with Forex where we actually shut down the brewery for twenty four hours. So they basically what they do is they put a roster day on a roster day off on. And we actually close down the site for a state of origin and we start from scratch. We put all the ceiling rigging in, we put the stage in, we put the tables in, we put so there's a whole heap of time lapses on, on, on the um, Facebook site about that. There's follow a noble event on Facebook. Follow. Okay. Go there, like and follow. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Guys, we're going to have a little break now, okay, so yeah. say about a 15 minute break and then you can...